Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a journal for the week for Gemini. Any placement, any astrology you follow, okay? Make sure you smash that like button so I know that Gemini gets love, okay? So I'll go ahead and pull from our Beltane Oracle for guidance at the end and read it at the end for us, okay? Um, and then just get an idea of what's going on, okay? Spirit, what guidance do you have for the general Gemini collective at this time? For whom it will resonate for whenever the time is divine. Peace and thank you so much. That's too many. You just want one, please. Maybe there's a lot to say. Okay. Right. Fix this better. Get rid of this pen. All right. All right, spirit. Let's see what, what direction we're going to go here. Lots to say, huh? All right, let's get some overall energy with the moonology. What is happening? This could be identifiers as well. Same thing with any numbers or colors or animals that pop up. Uh, they could be signs, synchronicities, identifiers, confirmation for you. Any of the energies, person, place, situation, thing. Okay. So take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. <laughs> Full moon and Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries. A fiery climax approaches. All right. The timing on that. October. Maybe September, okay? <clears throat> All right, let's get some tea leaf spirit. Tell us what's going on, please. What fiery climax is approaching? What is the sitch? What's going on? Okay. Two from the other half stack, too, please. All right. All right. Okay. We have Family Matters Seahorse. All right. So I'm going to break out a couple decks here since we may be dealing with some peoples. All right. This ready for you guys. <clears throat> there we go. That should be good. Also, dog barking, advice from a friend. Okay. Broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. And wall, misunderstanding. Okay. Let's get some identifiers of the situation, the people involved. Please, spirit for Gemini. Especially the family and the friends here. I'm hearing the number three. So three? Okay. Okay. We have the Six of Swords energy popping out. So there's definitely something needing to move to calmer waters or is moving to calmer waters. Okay, Cancer, the number, the letter F, <laughs> and Year of the Rat as well, okay. Pisces, the letter B, the Year of the Monkey, and Two of Wands, so there's a decision of where to go, what direction to go with this. And Ten of Cups, so this definitely could be about family or even just a romantic connection that involves a lot of people with the letter V. Taurus and <clears throat> the year of the ox and Gemini as well. So that could be you, could be dealing with another Gemini. Let's get a couple from the stargazing oracle here. Tell us more, spirit. Okay, there's three. South No definitely life's debts here. The past, past lives, inborn gifts, what's left unfinished, lessons not learned, and familiarity. 
that being said, we're going to figure out what lessons those are. Okay. You also have something having to do with your seventh house. Marriage, relationships, equality, business partners, true love, justice, friendship, rivals, enemies, and contracts. And waning moon. Surrender and go with the flow. Let go and move on. Rest and recuperate. Let fate take its course. Not the right time to take action. Okay, so you're going to be seeing a bunch of chaos with a group of people surrounding you at this time. Marriage could be involved. Someone in the situation is married. Okay. Uh, relationships overall. You definitely have family matters going on as well. And friendship is in the mix. Okay. Let's see what else we can get here. Fifth house, creativity, 29, breaks down to an 11. Uranus, genius, number nine. Okay. Definitely getting a sense that whatever this is might actually, this might be the genius creative response to this problem, okay? Neptune, sacrifice, something has to be given up, number 10 as well. Those numbers could be significant to you. September, October, November. Definitely full moon and Aries timing on that one for sure. So that could be part of the timing. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more identifier spirit. We'll keep going with the three here. Please and thank you. Folks that are alive still, so maybe nobody's died. That could be an identifier. Uh, the Generation Z Zoomer is involved. Oh, boy. Okay, we have a few here. All right. Definitely family. A young adult. That could be your Zoomer. A teenager. That could also be the young adult if they're 18 or 19. And karmic connection. So... Getting a sense that some of these family members are karmic connections for you, okay? Let's see what else. Okay, coming up in a few months. Aquarius could also be involved as well. This could also have a lot to do with the star card for me. Uh, so this might be huge for healing. Especially with Uranus there. It might even awaken foes. And Neptune too. And something's going to happen in a few weeks as well. So you're going to have layered action. Bits and pieces coming through regarding this situation. With as many people involved, I wouldn't be too surprised. Capricorn, uh, there could be your karmic energy right there. It could also indicate any kind of devilish energy, right? Like, um, but also it could be on the positive side, maybe some anal some thought process, analytical to do's, maybe lots of tasks involved, lots of things to invest into in the tangible. Either and I also see this as energy as well. Let's get one more. Health issues may be involved in this. That could be the investment energy there. Protect yourself. Okay. Keep up your defenses. I'm going to keep going. Uh, because, yeah, you could have somebody that's nonstop, relentless about something in this situation. That could be the unsuccessful outcome to a problem for them. Okay. Let's get Kipper on this. Let's actually first things first. What are the lessons involved in this? And this could be them too. All right. This might help you identify it a little better. Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Freedom. 
Hold on a sec, let's make some space. All right. Freedom, I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And purpose. I know what I am here to do. I'm getting a sense of one person in this situation at least feeling trapped by love and needing freedom. Maybe they don't know their purpose and they're kind of codependent in energy. That's why we have some of the devilish energy here too. And while another is well aware of what they're supposed to be doing, the purpose of you know, life is to live in the energy of love and you gain freedom from that, right? Okay. Kipper. Let's pull six cards, Spirit, please. I pulled out the double Kipper. As much identifiers as possible, please. What's going on here? What's the problem? What's the misunderstanding? All right, you have card number nine, change. There's some movement. 13 breaks down to a four, wealthy man, so a younger masculine energy. 18 with child, that could be a little child, literal child, or with the change card could be a new beginning. 20 house regarding home. There's been some unhappiness with despair here. Break 32 breaks down to a five. Let me try and get this. That's better. Okay. And one more. Ah, uh, some court issues, perhaps. Okay. Again with the fives. Maybe there had been a change. This could be some kind of child custody issue. This could be um Let's clarify. Let's clarify a little further. This could also be like divorce too. Especially with marriage there, right? Love and freedom and purpose. Irreconcilable differences. That could be the unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Pathway 35, definitely part of your journey. Okay, let's clarify courthouse, please, spirit. Poverty 37, courtship 4. That's also the four of wands, happy home and marriage. So maybe there's some sort of losses in that situation. With the mature woman, number 6. It's typically an older woman, a matriarch. And 36 breaks down to a nine distant horizons. All about your hopes and your dreams. This is also the star card too, as well as the moon card, okay, in this deck. Um, knowing your purpose for sure, that pathway card. Something that has longevity that you can invest your energy into. That's for your best interest. Let's see this despair. Thoughts. Yeah. Mental anguish. Something being stolen or taken. Again with the courtship card. Okay. So maybe there's just some losses in this courtship, right? That, you know, somebody's anguishing over as a result. And with that, I keep hearing irreconcilable differences. Okay. And that typically can happen, especially if somebody's moving into purpose, right? And the other wants to stay stuck with same old, same old, right? Okay, let's get three from the Gypsy Witch, please, Spirit. Tell us more. Lady. Two pentacles here, finding some balance, maybe having a lot to juggle. 18 breaks down to a nine. 
Six of Swords again, right? Needing to move towards calmer waters. Mouse denotes loss by theft. Hold on. It's in the center of the spread. So it could be recovered or it could be irretrievable. <laughs> and Ten of Swords, definitely feeling betrayed. Family quarrels, pecuniary losses. So maybe it's a combination of things in the situation. Could be like a household that really depended on each other to help pay the bills and as a result of whatever this split is it's causing a little bit of um issue getting things taken care of right maybe there had been one particular person in this situation that had been or two could very well be two uh, we do have aquarius and capricorn so that tells me two people right that may be very um immovable right um in their opinions about everything right and they're not seeing the greater good for all in this situation right and that's what's making it unsuccessful what about this advice from a friend seven of swords oh maybe something had been exposed that seven of swords but whatever it is the clouds are facing the light side towards it that would be house and home and a new beginning and what makes you happy could also be just a new relationship in that entirely i am seeing cancer pisces scorpio energy here as well six of swords maybe something from the past maybe somebody had become enlightened by a friend about something that had happened in the past that maybe they thought was um dishonorable <laughs> deceitful with that seven of swords you have 25 breaks down to a 7, 3, 11, 2, 18, 9, 29, 11 again. So, so this is definitely something being manifested. And 30 with 3s, 3s are all about good news. And you're being guided and protected by Ascended Masters. So that's awesome for your journey. This is something that needs to happen. This is something from the past that needs to get cleared up so that you can go towards your purpose. I'm definitely seeing that, especially with the south node and the waning, right? And don't force it. Go with the flow. There may be more to this that you're going to learn in a few weeks and in a few months and by full moon in Aries. Okay. Let's get you some guidance. Ascended Masters on deck. I do have a say regarding this. This is definitely layered, so you've got a lot of energies going on here. White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit. Connect to your lineage, a family wound or pattern can be healed now. Awesome. Definitely having something to do with a generational curse, perhaps, or just some wound from this lifetime. You also have Mary Magdalene, Teacher Awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. And one more. The Miriam, sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. That's what makes it conditional, right? And real love is unconditional. All right, what else? What else can we pull here? get the sense of a very large family here <laughs> or just a lot of people involved right like in-laws or steps or something like that okay and young folk right all right first card out oh this one was the first one okay hedgehog love number 10 positive uplifting new friends so maybe it's this new friend that comes through and kind of like lets you know about something. It could be like a friend of a family member in this situation, right? Little brother, little sister, siblings, younger friends, responsibility could be an identifier, okay? Maybe there's uh, some care here due to some uh, health issues or something here, okay? Number 40. And two kittens, you must choose. 29 breaks down to, 27 breaks down to a nine. 29 might be significant to somebody since I said it, all right? This is definitely where you can't have both, okay? This is not a have your cake and eat it too kind of situation. 
you might have to move forward from some karmic connection in this family, okay? Um, so you'll know what this is. Maybe they're constantly a person that misunderstands everything, that isn't really trying to see, you know, what you're seeing, right? And they're just very stubborn about what they want. You did have kind of that energy, that irrecon irreconcilable energy there. The despair and the thoughts and the immovable energy. Maybe they have a lot to say because lots of cars wanted to come out as well. Let's get some mermaids on this as well. Yeah, since purpose is on board, I'm going to pull this as well. Okay. Let's get a few from Mermaid Spirit, please, for Gemini. Abundance. Now, what makes you happy? This is absolutely the part of Fortune card, right? Re energize. That's also an energy vampire warning. Uh, but that's also a cue to kind of like. Really go deep with your, your self-care at this time. Do things that make you happy, especially with contentment coming out. I was looking at abundance when I said that. Let's get one more. Okay. And just be in a state of contemplation about what makes you happy as well. Kind of examine the situation from all perspectives, right? And see what avenues you really want to take with, with these energies. There may be some folk in this situation that can stick around, whereas it may only be one or two people that are the problem, right? And you can kind of elect how you disconnect from that energy, right? You may not be able to do a full energy cord cut, but you can at least kind of distance your communication, right? And love them from afar, so to speak, right? Let's see what else. A couple. You have Earth Star Chakra, number one, Mother Earth. So definitely stay grounded. Okay, connect with Gaia whenever you need to. Okay, 31, Peace Crown Chakra. So definitely get in a meditative state. Okay, you may need to do that grounding and as well as just kind of meditating for some Zen, right? And 27 breaks down to a nine, Psychic Development with your. Uh, third eye chakra there okay so this might actually be a good a good time to kind of mellow and chill and kind of step back from the situation and observe right you might actually get some more um <clears throat> more signs synchronicities and clear pains that way about the situation get a little water in you too there may be some difficulty um, with discussion here because that was a throat tickle, okay? There may be some, uh, some throat chakras may be blocked as well that are around you in this situation. All right, so purpose, spirit, let's talk about that. Guidance on that. Let's get three, okay? Trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Oracle cards, you might have to consult your favorite divination at this time, but also you can do it, you know, get help from others, all right? You might be able to actually discern the answers yourself, definitely tapping into your psychic abilities, whether or not you use tools or not. This doesn't have to be cardomancy. Strength, everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. And I'm also getting a sense that you might need to protect your solar plexus a little bit with this as well, okay? Okay. Unshakable inner peace. Okay, we got two. Twenty-one might be significant for you. Great awakening. Walk in your truth. Stand firm in your light. How can you trust yourself more? Again, with that trust too. It's not just in others or the situation or the divine. It's also yourself. 37 breaks down to a 10. Rise above it. It's not yours to carry. You're an empath. How can you detach from the drama? Okay. And that definitely goes in line with kind of just going with the flow and not getting involved, right? Um, it could be layered, like there's more than one person having the issues, right? 
Um, and maybe you'll be in a position to really observe and see who stays and who goes for you. Again, with that two of wands energy, right? Eighteen breaks down to a nine. Your purpose is personal expansion. How can you be more intentional with your choices and live with more purpose? Love it. Okay. You know, and just in case, let's see here. Let's see what Isis has to say. I would not be surprised if the brother in darkness shows up. She had a lot of family issues too, so. <laughs> a lot of arrogance going on with the boys the multiple boys the brother the brother husband and her son oh my goodness all right initiation i'll show you the front side here oh and there's her son horus initiation when you are being initiated to the divine mysteries of light love and power there are moments of profound challenge the key is to find the light within the challenge, the opportunity for growth that can transform any challenge into an experience of healing. Ooh, love it. With compassion and cleverness, you will not burn during your challenges. You shall thrive. So you got this. Just look for the opportunities where you can grow from it, right? You might learn some new healing method or something, right? Uh, I know what that is. The Chariot of Ascension. Speaking yeah, speaking of cancers here, too, I always see cancer with this one. Merkaba, this is all about your soul star chakra, okay? So a spiritual practice has come or is soon coming into your attention that will help your soul journey. And it may be to activate your soul star chakra, okay? Activate your Merkaba, okay? Take your time to develop and practice your chosen spiritual discipline regularly. This will help you grow in power and grace, anchoring the spiritual light within the body of your soul. Key of life. The Ankh portends new life being born through you now. This new life being born in whatever form will enrich your life, bringing you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Do not give up on your creative destiny. You do have fifth house here, okay? So creativity might be helpful in this situation, whichever medium. <laughs> Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction and you have spiritual support from the unseen world. Let it happen, okay? Love it. Back. And we'll pull our card. And Beltane for you. Final guidance. Sacrifice. 36. You must find the ebb and flow of life within your very self. Embracing it all is embracing truth. It also breaks down to a nine. Three, six, nine might be significant to you. It's all about change. So there's going to be some changes here. Sacrifice invites you to let go of something that is preventing your growth. You do not wish to move on, but deep down you know this is a necessary step on your path towards greater fulfillment. This can mean moving to a new home, embracing a new career or way of thinking, or even a rite of passage such as a graduation. Those all could be identifiers in this situation, all right? You don't literally have to be what's going on, but that could just let you know who's involved, right? but could very well also be that. So I take it how it resonates. You know that you're on your way to more, but the moment is still bittersweet. Pulling sacrifice shows that you have some doubts about your next step. You wonder if you've made the right choices or if you'll later regret your actions. Yes, there will be challenges ahead and perhaps more sacrifices to come, but you must be willing to sacrifice something small so it's not a big thing to, you know, get rid of at this moment or at least set aside or not deal with, right? I'm guessing it's whatever this minor karmic connection may be. It could be like, um, you know, a cousin you never see that's causing problems, right? Okay. Yes, there will be challenges ahead and perhaps more sacrifices to come, but you must be willing to sacrifice something small to reap the rewards of something greater. It's time to commit to your choices and move on in the knowledge that there is much more for you to explore. All right, there you go, Gemini. Hopefully that helps. Have a good one. Bye.